Finally, we look at a few examples of pre-sheaves on a category with three objects. Again, we have the discrete category, which we interpret a container as a partition box, this time with three compartments. The walking category on three objects gives rise to the category of bouquets with two layers of petals. So for example, if X is a container and alpha is a two figure, it has a one figure L2 boundary beta, and beta in turn has a zero figure L1 boundary A. If BG is a category with two morphisms with a common codomain, the category of presheaves is a category of bipartite graphs. For example, if X is a bipartite graph and alpha is an A figure or an arc, then it has a source boundary at a V1 vertex A and a target boundary at a V2 vertex B. The dual category of BG we call BB because it gives rise to a category of bi bouquets. You can think of a container as consisting of flowers with two kinds of petals. Or equivalently, you can think of it as two set maps with a common codomain. The category of presheaves on the category LG has containers which are graphs with vertices as loops. So an A figure gamma has a source loop alpha and a target loop beta, which in turn have vertex boundaries A and B respectively. One could also interpret a container as a graph where each vertex is assigned a V label. If we switch the direction of the morphism L, we get a category VG. A presheaf on this category is a vertex parameterized graph, where the set of L figures lists vertices in the graph. One could also view a container as a bouquet and a graph which share the same set of vertices. If we switch the morphisms S and T around in LG, we get a category of arrow colored graphs, where each arrow is assigned a V2 label. And finally, if C2 is a category generated by the following graph subject to the relations S2, S1 is equal to T2, S1, and T2, T1 is equal to S2, T1, we obtain a category of presheaves which have two arcs between one arcs such that the source and target are fixed. For example, a small 2 category has an underlying 2-cell structure.